clover. <laughs> Greetings, this is Calcat the Calcatster. And this is a review of a movie called Cloverfield. Because I've seen part two, and now I'm going to do the first one. So yeah, it's a movie called Cloverfield. Uh, it came out in 2008. It was a J.J. Abrams movie. And it's about a house party that is happening in New York. And the first 20 minutes of it or so are the, one of the most dizzying scenes since The Blair Witch Project. 2008 movie and like in the 2000 like in the Blair Witch Project back in 1999 um yeah they gave somebody a camera and pretended oh look like you're an amateur with a camera and so for 20 minutes of the first Cloverfield movie you literally cannot pay attention to what's being shot because this guy is filming the walls he's filming the ground he's filming the floors he's Filming weird, random stuff. Uh, not to be artsy, but because he's an amateur cameraman. Even even teenagers with cell phones can do a better job now uh, than he did in this first... Uh, for 20 minutes of the first Cloverfield, you cannot literally watch this movie. It, 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 it's just awful. Uh, uh, Mark's Cards and I had made a movie years ago called Star Crackers, and we put it online later around the... 2012 or so, and now there's other versions of it out. But uh, we had some scenes in there where we went off the handle and showed random stuff. Like he filmed the floor and panned up and stuff like that. We made jokes about that. But Abrams had the same idea, and he decided, I'm just going to film everything, just randomly everything. I'm going to give these guys a camera and film them. And the rest of the movie is about the guys with a camera filming them. But the, the shtick... But the shtick with Cloverfield is that it's a monster movie. It's like a Godzilla sort of thing, but on a low budget. And, again, the Godzilla monster is... Yeah, it's really like the American Godzilla, because it has... But, like, a better version of it. Early on, the Statue of Liberty's head gets ripped off and chucked on the ground. Early on, the monster is attacking New York and just devastating everything, and it's really violent. And the monster you barely see because the guy is running along with a video camera filming it through the whole thing. The camera work gets better as it goes along. The first 20 minutes are bad, but the rest of it's, it's good. It was very infamous for that at the time. And, and the monster apparently infects people and makes parasites grow out of them and pop. and explode like Alien, but also like the Godzilla movie with the Godzilla monster babies. It was... And the monster looked weird, uh, sort of strange-looking, multi-legged thing with a head and a neck and uh, choppers and stuff. If you've seen Star Trek 2009, there is a Cloverfield monster chasing Kirk. So you get to see the whole... Or a very similar monster to the Cloverfield one chasing Kirk. Uh, so you get to see one there. But, uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> within a year of that other movie. J.J. Abrams launched into other movies since then. But a Cloverfield was his first attempt at a... Well, it wasn't his first attempt at a horror movie. They were doing Lost, and they were doing some other stuff. But it was the first one that everyone paid attention to. 2008. Yeah, Cloverfield. Hmm. It's, yeah, so... It was a good movie for about the last hour of it. And then this really bizarre sort of ending happens for, and they, I guess, defeat the monster or something, and they're out in the grass at the end, and there were some, some really ridiculous stunts where people were diving out of buildings and stuff, which, of course, Michael Bay copied in the Dark of the Moon Transformers movie. Uh, yeah, so, <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> Oldfield. It was okay. But you just can't get up over the first 25 minutes, 20, 25 minutes that are just not watchable. Literally, you, you have to start at the 30 minute mark and when everything starts getting destroyed. Uh, but yeah, uh, in a sense, Independence Day, it's a little bit like too. A little bit like Alien. Yeah, so that was Cloverfield. Uh, yeah, about two thirds of it are good. <laughs> Ending's good. Uh, yeah, so now I'm going to go on to the sequel. Mm.